ready from both four players, I will do the countdown. Definitely looks like Betty is keeping warm. Uh, she's got the rock in the hat with the uh, little bubble on top. I don't know. Pom pom. Three, two, one, and pills. We're off. There we go. And so, uh, well, uh, <laughs> you can sorry, Dave. I'm, I'm missing my names. Uh, it gets to a very early start there with a couple of double blues that uh, quickly turn out in some uh, very uh, efficient clears there on the left side. Yeah, Dave, those double blues uh, solving a lot of potential problems for Dave right at the beginning, um, whereas his left side is uh, looking very empty. Lots of yellows and reds in those in that right side. So we'll see if he uh, gets the right pills or can make the right plans to take care of that. Yeah, and at this point, it's basically, well, it was six columns there that were the top, uh, the top line completely red. So, yeah, it seems like the game is uh, basically keeping him away from those uh, red pills, uh, which is not what you want to see at this point. Betty right now a little frustrated by her situation, needing a lot of red, um, a little bit stuck on her board for some reds. Yeah, however, she's going for some horizontals, trying to set up for some nice... Uh, things to do with those uh, pills that are coming her way and uh, manages to get some there. Uh, that left side is basically clear right now. It's uh, just perhaps a matter of going for that. Oh, I, I thought she was going to go for the horizontal, but manages to also pair up uh, a couple of blues there. Yeah, at this point, if you have a plan, you should just stick to it. Try to make the fastest plays you can. Uh, looks like Dave is really wanting a double red. Uh, to take care of uh, some of his uh, red on top, uh, but making nice plays in the meantime as he waits. It's basically been a wait, uh, a waiting game at this point for Dave. Uh, perhaps at this point, at this moment, just uh, going to set up. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do, and that's going to drop into the reds. Uh, however, that's going to break what he has there, going for that blue horizontally. However, he's going to uh, clear it up uh, and have it open vertically. And now it's just a matter of getting some blues. Meanwhile, Betty already on a level seven. Uh, looks like about a six virus lead for her. Uh, and we'll see uh, if uh, what Dave can do. Yeah, it, uh, at the moment, uh, Betty <laughs> having a lot of red on the top line. That right side has uh, three columns with red, which uh, is something you don't want to have two, three of the same color because then at that point you're either waiting for something to start clearing from the the centermost column or rather to just uh, get some doubles. And I feel like we've been seeing that a lot tonight. Lots of m monochrome dependencies. Uh, I, I feel like it's not usually this bad. <laughs> yeah, I think that it's mostly just the game being the game at this point, trying to also be a protagonist in this in this tournament. But uh, our players are managing to figure out how to how to play around that very well. But it's going to set up for that horizontal. Yeah, there you go. It's going to create a little bit of garbage, but uh, nonetheless, she manages to also clear some more stuff on that right side. Dave just needing a lot of reds, and those reds are also blocking access to his other viruses. So it's a, it's a little bit annoying of a situation to be in, but nothing that he can't handle for sure. Yeah, and that double is going to help very much to open up that uh, last uh, yellow virus on the right side. Betty Betty's also trying to figure out what to do without reds. Alternating blue reds up on, on her right side. Um, looks like she's going for some sort of fat log or a T, um, some sort of shape. I think she wanted to sandwich those blues. That was mainly it, but uh, now she had she just had to take out that uh, that blue virus, otherwise it was going to be a problem down on that right side. And gets another miss flip there. Yeah, misses the tuck. Um, and this happens uh, especially on high speed and especially um, after you've been playing a level for a long time. As you can see, lots of pills stacked up on a board, which means that the game has increased speed 
several times. Um, so the timing is a little bit different than it was at the start and happens to the yeah. best of us. Yeah, definitely. It's the gravity against you. But uh, Betty manages to get out as Dave is about 13 viruses ahead at this point. But we are just starting out level eight. Um, these players have two levels yet ahead of them. And Dave, lots of red on his board. Yeah, once again, another one of those instances where one of the one of the uh, colors just uh, appearing in its ugly face and uh, not really appearing in the pill that uh, Mar is sending your way. But uh, uh, Dave is trying to do as much as possible at this point. I think he's run out of options. Dave te taking a second to adjust his microphone. You love to see it. Not not all streamers care that much about their equipment, but Dave really cherishing and taking care of it uh, during this important match. As we see on the other side of Betty going there for a sweet tea, he's going to drop a little bit of garbage, but we know that Betty definitely goes for those combos. Yeah, Betty having no blue access at the moment. Um, going to need to find creative spaces to, to put those blues so they don't cause a lot of problems and headaches in the future. Yeah, I manages to open up their uh, a virus on column three. Now there's even more blue on column five. But uh, that uh, right side, uh, it looked a bit more annoying than, than it really is. It's just going from, from downwards and you can clear it very easily. Dave's just been waiting on reds, um, getting them at an average looking rate um, out of level eight at a 620. There you go. And it's just nine viruses at this point for Betty. So it's not over just yet. She's making some nice, efficient plays horizontally to uh, dodge some of the garbage that came down from earlier clears. A nice oh. lightning log there. Yeah, the perfect peel. It destroys a bit of the setup. She's going to need another red, and she manages to tuck it in. She's out at 641. She's not missing the tuck this time. Doubters, get out of here. Uh, yeah, definitely. Th th those talks are difficult, but uh, if uh, if our players can... can uh, but we know that our players can make it for sure. Betty's board looking very great into level 9. Lots of doubles, which could give her just the chance that she needs to catch up um, to Dave. And in the meantime, Dave needing uh, a lot of blue at one point to manages to, to get it and actually makes a little bit of garbage at one point there, but it was good garbage since that basically opened up the rest of the board. Betty with a slight misplay, um, but able to work around it very easily. It's a fat log. Very nice. Yeah, beautiful fat log. Just needs some blues and reds on that left side. Uh, yellow is now extinct. Yeah, Dave was trying to wait for a double red. It didn't come, but manages to get another setup there for, uh, well, taking care of uh, that red on column five. It was, it could have been cleared as well, but it didn't happen. However, uh, the rest of the of, of his play at this point, uh, basically, it's just that uh, those reds that are set up and that red blue is going to combo into that set of blues, and he's going to be out at eight twenty. Betty has eight seconds to get four reds or four blues and just oh, shy no! at 822. Oh, oh my so goodness. Close. It does not get much closer than that. Wow, that's basically the RNG uh, giving or taking away at this point. <laughs> wow. What a nice match from both of our players. Yeah. Dave, they're just <laughs> sighing in relief because <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably saw the, the clock ticking away. You saw Dave had a relatively clean board at the end. Um, Betty had lots of b dropped pills uh, in the meantime, and that ended up making the difference, some of those pills that she had to burn through. I mean, at the point, at one point, it was about ten viruses or more in favor of Dave, and Betty managed to bring it back to just four seconds and a couple of pills of difference. So, great, great game number one from both of our players. Uh, let's see what game number two has uh, has for us. Indeed. 
Dave putting a, a crown on himself. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, both of our players are ready. So let's count them down. Game number two in three, two, one. Pills. All righty. And so we're off. Dave first off the gate. And Betty is right behind. And right out the gate, Dave uh, dropping that yellow blue vertically in column three. Not exactly sure what his plan was there, but we will uh, see how he works around it. And yeah, trying to figure out how to clear those uh, that setup of horizontals for that uh, red virus uh, takes the garbage there. Not going to be a big problem actually in setting up for that virus that's on top as well. Meanwhile, betting Betty just wasting no time at all playing very efficiently. Uh, had some garbage that she just dropped down a couple of levels to until it became useful, and that's exactly what you want to see. And at this point, Betty with a lot of red on her board, but uh, it's uh, a board that's uh, basically uh, all the way to the bottom. And nice drop there for an L. Beautiful. And now, yep, just needing red. So um, our players have a few different strategies. Some try to intimidate the doctor. Some um, try to sweet talk him. Whatever you do, you need to be doing it now. Yeah, it's one of those instances where you need the one color and you need it now or else, uh, yeah, it can just, uh, well, devolve into a very strange thing that the doctor would like to do. As uh, we see Dave trying to open up the, the that board, goes for that horizontal very nicely, deals with that garbage on the right side as Betty is out at 126. 126 is an excellent time for level 6. Definitely, it's one of those uh, times that you, that you want to see there in, in anything around 130, 140 is exactly what you want for level 6. And Dave is making his way out. Um, has been a little bit uh, off off to a rocky start here, but uh, certainly is it capable of shaking it off and uh, turning it up for the three levels to come. Yeah, and that double blue is was very helpful there, uh, uh, avoiding to have a setup for that third uh, third space to go for the horizontal. They're trying to figure out there, uh, however, what to do with uh, those blue yellows. Didn't really have a good place to put them. I think he was going for the talk, but it didn't go all the way through. Betty's board having uh, been a little bit polka dotted with yellows. Um, those yellows are now blocking access to her left side um, with just four columns of yellows now down to three. And and it's uh, precisely one of the situations, as we've mentioned, where it's three or more columns that are the same, that, that are uh, contiguous, and therefore it's kind of difficult to work them efficiently. Uh, unfortunately, they're uh, Betty with a bit of a misdrop. Uh, that's going to paralyze also that left side unless she goes from be from below. Just a little slip and slide. Um, it definitely happens when you're trying to play fast. Um, sometimes the controller registers inputs that you swear you didn't make. Oh, and, oh that is going to cost. Yeah, that uh, there's really no other way to go around it. But uh, yeah, go horizontally there. But that uh, yellow virus on the on the first row is going to take some time to clear out and if you're dave you um are uh thankful for this opportunity to, to catch up although betty uh making a nice uh clear to be able to solve this from underneath and she's out at 340 so dave now just down by six viruses yeah, probably one of those uh, clears that uh, definitely is uh, the most efficient way to go around. Well, what what happened there? But uh, yeah, at this point, it's just a few viruses uh, for Dave. Unfortunately, they're all clumped on that left side, which makes it a little bit slower. But uh, making work out of it, just uh, a couple of reds and then the yellows hopefully will follow. Perfect sequencing to uh, get that yellow out. 425, um, down by about 10 viruses now, um, with two levels to go. 
Yeah, and I think that they've they're uh, suffering from uh, a kick there by the by the pill, where because of how uh, it moves, it, it kind of uh, shifted on, on to the left side, and unfortunately settled uh, not on the on the on the spot that he was really looking for. But uh, he's going to figure out another way to clear all of these viruses. I'm wondering, yeah, probably that uh, virus on the top line that the yellow has to go. Uh, Horizontally, otherwise it's going to leave a lot of garbage at this point. There you go. Dave have um, had a couple of pills uh, floating around as he kind of decided where to place them optimally. Uh, was taking some time to solve at the beginning, whereas Betty, I'm not sure she's held, led up off of the down button for the last half a minute. She has just been blazing through this aid. Yeah, it was quite a difference between the level seven and eight. In, in seven, it was some more of trying to travel around it and uh, as you mentioned <laughs> level eight just blazing through it and then now into level nine betty definitely making a statement that she's not about to just roll over and play dead uh she came to play dr mario and that she is yeah it's uh definitely well after that uh, situation there just telling the doctor no i'm i'm, I'm here to to bring my A game and that's exactly what she's doing at this point. Uh, Dave uh, on the al almost there on the on the last stretch of level eight, just uh, eleven viruses at this point. As Betty already uh, halfway around the the board and gets there a very nice uh, clear to into a into a T. She is just dropping all sorts of combos left and right. It is blowing my mind. <laughs> this is excellent I mean... <laughs> play. It shows to you that uh, she's a, a doubles player. And uh, I mean, one of those combos in doubles, wow, that hurts. Mm, yes. She does indeed get a lot of practice in verses. Um, and to, to some extent, uh, those skills uh, are very unique and separate from speedrunning, but there is a lot of carryover, and we're seeing that um, the combos uh, are very useful in both modes. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end, it's uh, it, it's efficient clearing what you're going after, and uh, yeah, and, and it's exactly what Betty's showing right now. As oh, a bit of a misdrop there, but I think she's going to set up for a horizontal as well in order to clear both of those situations there. Indeed, uh, the important thing, um, as we've already seen this. Uh, contest is that you uh want to keep the board low try to keep access um she's making some nice uh horizontal clears to uh open up the lo those last two viruses again cost her about 30 seconds did that one miss flip it just goes to show you how painful they can be but betty taking game two there you go and betty's uh it, it gets that game number two. Dave uh, knows that uh, the, this uh, this game is over, so he's just going to top out, and it's going to be one one for both of these players, and we're going to go to a decider. As a fellow competitor, I feel for both of these players. Neither one of them wants to be in this situation on the brink of elimination, but as a spectator, uh. Love to see more Dr. Mario. Oh, yeah, definitely. The more Dr. Mario, the better. As you say, it's not that we want to see any of these players be in this, uh, in, in this situation, but, uh, well, it's, it's what happens sometimes, and we're going to get a third, a third game. Two very different players you're seeing right now. Betty uh, shaking her hands uh, very uptight right now. Uh, very nervous under this pressure. Dave, uh, looking very unfazed, has a very Ron Swanson-ish face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to wait. Okay, there you go. Betty Sauce already. And uh, all right, let's count them down. And we've got a three, two, one. Pills for our decider game number three in this first semifinal match. The and player there we go, of this both goes of them on 
to the finals uh, to face the winner of the next match. And uh, let's remember that this is for a uh, point in our final uh, final ranking for our December finals. So, yeah, there's uh, there's some more than just the pride in, in 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 line at this point. Yes, these points are going to be very important. Uh, the more points you have, the better chance you get to play in December for the title of speedrun world champion. Yeah, and not only the the better chance, but also the fact that uh, you get a better ranking. So uh, yes. as uh, you pointed out, you want as much points as, as possible. Dave having in column two, four viruses stacked up. Um, is this what they're calling a traffic light? I'm yeah, not that's entirely a light. <laughs> that's a traffic light. There you go. One of those were, and, and unfortunately, uh, quite secluded from the rest of the board, which is a lot of blue at this point. So it's going to take some time, some drop time. However, uh, Dave has built a bit of a scaffolding there to try and minimize it. A tiny missed flip from Betty uh, cleaned up uh, before I even got a chance to comment on it. Uh, another missed flip there. But she uh, is totally capable of cleaning this up. It's a tough situation that she's in right now. Lots of yellow blue down there and uh we'll yeah, see how she goes about it. And a bit of garbage uh, well uh in, in several places of the board uh, trying to clear it in the all directions however those double yellows are going to help to just uh, have uh, that uh, blue on the on column 1 so very nice there by Dr. Mario. She's making some good plans. Um it looks like she's got a horizontal uh, in the works. Um, abandoning the play for the horizontal. Uh, just going to opt to take everything vertically. But uh, she is still right there in it. Both players out at about the same time, uh, adjusting for the difference in their timers. Yeah, it's about five seconds at this point, really a difference, which is nothing at this point. No. Very nice start there by Dave with that horizontal setting up uh, to, well, use some pills that really weren't useful at that point. Uh, he's going to have to open up that uh, both of those sides. Uh, has a lot of blue on, th on, on the top line, so trying to make work out of it. Meanwhile, Betty, um, not having very much need for red. Um, the red that she does have is doubled up quite nicely. So um, trying to prioritize those blues and those yellows. Yeah, but she went for very nice setups there with those reds uh, that, that you mentioned weren't, uh, re weren't really useful for her. So that, that's exactly what you want to do when you don't have uh, that, that, that color available, then try and make something good for it. Some scaffolding, maybe some, uh, some, some stuff in order to drop uh, uh, other, um, well, other half pills that uh, really have no, have no use for you. I was a little nervous for for her for a moment. She had this uh, very tricky setup going on for uh, blue horizontally. But oh my goodness, just clearing out all of the garbage on her board. Yeah, that was looking very garbagey, but manages to bring that down in one quick and swift motion. So very nice there. Gets uh, a bit of a uh, horizontal lightning bolt to clear more garbage. And yeah, it's just going to be that one virus. Those were two fantastic plays, clearing zero viruses, but opening up her board and giving her the health that she needed to uh, get out of level seven. But Dave, not far behind. Yeah, Dave, uh, out of, of this uh, level number eight, it's uh, about seven viruses of difference at this point. Lots of doubles on his top line, um, whereas Betty has lots of blue. Um, but she is doing exactly what you, she needs to do in this situation, just playing very quickly, very decisively, um, seeing more pills so that she can get more blue quickly. And Dave, they're playing uh, uh, with uh, some horizontal. They're setting up on top of other viruses just to make use of uh, pills that, uh, well, they didn't have a nice place to go at first, but uh, manages to get there a very nice uh, start of the level. Uh, Betty's shaking her head a little bit there. I think she had a bit of a misplay. 
I definitely missed a little bit there um, as my dogs were pulling a Frank or Z. Um, <laughs> cats, dogs, we have it all here in Dr. Mario. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And I mean, we, we have the slides of uh, the pets of Dr. Mario, and uh, we even have a channel uh, that dedicated to them in our Discord. So, yeah, we have it all here in the, in, in our channel. As uh, yeah, we're seeing Betty trying to figure out this board, trying to open up that right side. Has that set up for those blues? And yeah, that red blue is going to bring it down. Beautiful. Yes, uh, it needed one virus for that entire sequence to make sense, and she fortunately got it without having to wait very much at all. As now, Dave having to figure out this situation where there's that blue virus that, unfortunately, there was no easy way to the sandwich. So, yeah, that uh, he had to to figure out uh, another way to to clear this and uh, had to go one by one. Uh, Dave is going to be out at six eleven. And it's just six viruses of difference at this point. Yes, Dave a little bit behind. Um, and this is the last level, so it's going to be a sprint to the finish for sure. I'm very really going for those horizontals, and that has been working very nicely for her in in this start of level nine. Uh, really not a lot of garbage, and whatever seemed like garbage, she has been using very nicely. It can be very difficult to set up for these horizontals, uh, especially early up the board. A lot of these setups re re uh, require very specific pieces, um, and it can take some. It can necessitate some creative play, if you uh, don't get those pieces. And definitely, there. Uh, well, both of our players being very. Uh... But, well, doing very nice plays at at, at this point. Uh, Dave going for that uh, very efficient clear with three pieces checking out two viruses, which is almost as efficient as you can ask. It's just going to be a lot of red really for Dave uh, that's near at this point. And it looks like uh, all Betty needs is red as well. Um, a double red would be perfect, and that would get uh, and she gets oh, it, and she wow. is out at a seven twenty six. Betty takes the match over the Dave two one. All right, so that's uh, yeah, that's going to be the Debbie uh, Betty <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Betty moving on to the finals, and she's going to be facing whoever wins our next uh, our next match. Dave uh, realizing yeah that it, that it's over and uh, he's going to top out, but uh, I mean it was uh, very contested all the way to the end. Betty looking obviously gobsmacked. Just so excited to be mo moving on to the finals. Dave looking much the same as he did before the match. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah, so we're going to set up for our second semifinal. Uh, don't move. We'll be back in just a few moments. <laughs> 